Hola everyone, David Cooper here. Welcome to Friday's Real Madrid blog where we will be keeping you up to date on all the latest news, features and gossip from the Santiago Bermabu. Follow our updates below, 11.42 p.m., prospect of Thibaut Courtois signing for Real Madrid this summer diminishes the prospect of Thibaut Courtois signing for Real Madrid this summer is becoming less and less, Marco reports. The deal hinges on Chelsea and given the Blues have yet to find a suitable number one replacement who could fill Courtois boots, the Belgian is set to stay put in West London. Read more on this story here. 9.51 p.m., Julian Lopetegui weighs in on Cristiano Ronaldo departure New manager Julian Lopetegui has weighed in on the departure of Cristiano Ronaldo for the first time since the Portuguese star's shock transfer to Juventus. Ronaldo's departure has left a huge hole for Madrid to fill. However, Lopetegui says he's relishing the challenge of leading the side into a new era. Read more on this piece here. 8.35 p.m., Julian Lopetegui reassures number one Kaylor Navis of his place Real Madrid are continually being linked with a new goalkeeper in this transfer window but new manager Julian Lopetegui says he has spoken to incumbent number one Kaylor Navis and reassured him of his place. Read more about Navis here. 7.49 p.m., Julian Lopetegui, delighted with his team's pre-season preparations How will Lopetegui handle the pressure of the post-Rinaldo era? Real Madrid manager Julian Lopetegui says he is delighted with his team's preparations during a pre-season that has been marred by players being absent due to the World Cup. Read more on what the boss had to say here. 7.01 p.m., Bale needs to show he can be the star now Ronaldo's gone Bale has to prove he can be the star player at a club of Madrid's stature. Gareth Bale and Cristiano Ronaldo were teammates until a month ago. Now, two players whose careers have been intertwined for the last five seasons have stages to themselves, and with that, their responsibility to deliver. At Real Madrid, Bale needs to show he can be the star now Ronaldo's gone. Ronaldo, a change of club after a shock transfer to Juventus comes with the pressure of delivering European club football's biggest trophy. Read Aditya Devavret's piece here. 4.37 p.m., Real Madrid players said to be unhappy with Sergio Ramos' extended summer holiday Sergio Ramos is an integral figure to Real Madrid, but several of his teammates are said to be unhappy about the club allowing the captain to extend his summer break for the second successive year. Read more on this story here. 4.19 p.m., Chelsea join race for Real Madrid midfielder Mateo Kovacic wanted man, Mateo Kovacic. Chelsea are the latest club to pursue Mateo Kovacic after the Real Madrid midfielder turned down Manchester United, Italian outlet Calcio Mercato claim. Read on here. 12 p.m., agent of Thibaut Courtois turns up heat on Chelsea It's a transfer saga that has rumbled on since the World Cup was done and dusted and now Christophe Henrique, agent of Thibaut Courtois, has revealed that Real Madrid have made a concrete offer for their client. But so far that's not enough for Chelsea, read more here. 10.54 a.m., Real Madrid arrive in Washington ahead of clash with Juventus Los Blancos have touched down in Washington, D.C for their next match in the International Champions Cup against Juventus at FedEx Field, the home of the NFL team the Washington Redskins Real will be looking to bounce back from their 2-1 loss to Manchester United in Miami on Wednesday, in new manager Julian Lopetegui's first match in charge. Consternation was building around Sergio Ramos' late return from his holiday but to the relief of Madrid fans the no-nonsense defender is finally back with the team in time for tonight's match kickoff, 2 o'clock Sunday UAE time. One player who won't be lining up for Juventus is new signing Cristiano Ronaldo, who recently unfollowed Los Blancos on Instagram. As you'll see below the fans were out in force to welcome Madrid to the US capital.